Hi all. Yeah. Sorry. Bushman with no hair, no hair. Ah, uh, yeah. No hair yet. So um wanted to talk with you about well, two things in one basically, but it's all in one. Okay. Last time I did a video about this, it was called you can watch it now as well. It's on on the ch on the channel. It says how to how to, it's, it was called how to get discharged from mental illness. That was a six minute twenty seven minute twenty six minute tw six minutes and twenty seven seconds video. It's got a lot of likes at the moment. There's no there's zero zero dislikes. So so that's one title. But the other one I wanted to talk to you about is which is in this whole title is called how to slowly how to slowly come off medication tried and tested that's merged in one this video is merged in one with that so what it is i asked i asked my gp for a proof of something because i need to need to i need to get proof need to get written confirmation letter to the GP to send to a company so what it was um, I wasn't ex I wasn't actually expecting this on my letter and I wasn't expecting them to actually write to say that I've been discharged because what it was the letter says I'm this the letter doesn't say that but what it says I'm it say, the letter says I'm discharged but when it says discharge it means the let the, the let it means when it says discharge from mental illness it means I'm actually discharged from the actual service, the actual um, resort resource center, but not from not from the care center. So um, yeah. I so, yeah. But um, what can I say? I'm still I'm still being. You could say I'm 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 I'm. I'm still being cared for in in the, in my in my mind in my in my mental state. I'm being I'm still being cared for and I'm still on still on medications for my diagnosis. But this letter just says I'm I'm being discharged. But I, I, basically, it's, I read it out to you. There's no need to. I'll show it to you briefly, which is what it says here. Yeah, that that's I just show you to brief briefly, and I read it out as well. It says this patient is registered with with our surgery. I can I can confirm <coughs> this patient doesn't do, does this patient this I can confirm this patient does suffer suffer with Asperger syndrome, which I hardly which I hardly which I hardly believe for I don't even believe that for a second. So, uh, and also Asperger syndrome, and also has treatment for transient psychosis related to it, to, related to this condition. Psychosis is basically thoughts coming into your mind, telling you what, to, telling you what to do. And bear in mind, with that, people get killed for that. So, I'm lucky to lucky to be alive. People that can't control it, they they normally they no, they they can't normally kill themselves. But you know, God is able. In Jesus name so I'll carry on what it's and say I carry on it says he he is he is on medication risperidone to two milligram OD and and is well controlled on on this he has been discharged from the mental health services in November since he has been well and with no evidence of relapse so when it comes to there are there are plenty of people that have actually got had a condition. I mean, I've never accepted, and I, I never I never accepted my condition, and I found it I found it very very hard to accept to accept the the diagnosis that I'm supposed to have. Um, a, a few people, one person, one company, or one person said that you know you need to accept what you have mental illness, but I, I never could really accept it. Never really could properly properly accept 
the condition because it's just not me. I mean, you uh, you can actually say it's not me. It's not me as a Christian to accept that kind of illness. So yeah, and like I said, <coughs> like I said, sorry, people have died, committed suicide because they can't cope with the with the with the illness that I that, I, that I'm supposed to have. So, you know, my mom said I'm a strong, strong, indivi strong individual. It's it's as if she actually, this this was her very words. It's like she said, it's something. If something um, bothers me or upsets me or traumatized by any, if I'm traumatized by anything, you actually you actually I actually get stronger. My mom said, and yeah, which is true. I mean, it's well it's well worth persevering through things because and 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 not not giving into your your emotions because mental illness any kind of mental illness is it's also an emotional thing. It's not just not just in it's not all just in the head it's a it's an emotional thing because once your once your once your once your emotions are 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 mucked up or corrupt or un, or or are sorry or or is um or is like uncontrollable you know this is where we need to seek god and seek seek prayer and persevere even though we don't want to persevere sometimes it's good when we're when we're when we when we when our emotions are running right all over the place, it's sometimes it's good just to sit down and keep quiet and say nothing, or just put on some Christian TV, or just don't don't um don't don't act don't act according to what somebody else is uh, don't don't act in a in a in a rational way or in a angry way based on what based on what what somebody else has been talking about or preaching don't 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 react on in it in a way that basically that don't react on it in a way that makes it makes it evil or do it in a bad way just do the good things in life and just trust and obey god and just follow him and just ask god what you want to, what, what you want me to do for this day lord i've done videos about how to talk with god and confirm I've done vi a few videos about that. You can type that in the search part or just ask me. But there's more to it than just there's more to it than just talking to God in in a, in a structure. Not not every structure fits all in in un, in in hearing God's voice or the Lord's voice. You have to you have to you have to get experience. You have to you have to give it time and surely and you you'll get the answer and hear God's voice, the Lord's voice, and get advice from from your church. And you always have to to find out if it's if it is of God anyway. You have to plead the blood of Jesus on it and ask and ask God if this is what you want me to do. And God will obviously come in there and say and say something. But if you if we if we're all the time wanting to do what we want to do, we will block God block block access to god because if if our lives are based on me 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 all the time it's it, we we block we block god's we'll block god's vision and we'll block what god has for us and there are some things that we 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 we, we hear there are some things that we hear from god or, or i hear from god and we think it and we think about it and 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 and, and we test it because we, we're meant to test it it's biblical to test. It's biblical to test against the Bible and pray of what's going on in here, what you're hearing, what you're hearing, or what you're hearing from God. It's best to test it. And then you know, and and sometimes when you, when you finally test it and find out what's going on, sometimes you do you can do simple things that doesn't harm anyone or yourself. Sometimes you can do things that you don't you you, think, you know it's from God, and but you but you don't want to do it, but sometimes you just you it's, you just want to do it because you know it benefits god because when you do things when you're doing things when god asks you to do something gently not by force when god asks you to do something gently he's not he's not god is not thinking about himself or or or, or you god is thinking about that other person that's the character of god in his in his conduct 
uh, the character of the Lord and his conduct in Jesus. So when so anytime God asks you to do something gently, always test it and making making sure it's making sure it's of God biblically and in and in prayer and and then and then yeah just follow it from there but but yeah mm. you know something yeah and about and about the um and about the the how to come off medicate yeah, mm. You know, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, actually. I'm, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say I'm going to save it because I'm saying it too early anyway. But basically, stay stay clicked on the next video about how to come off medication slowly in my way, part six or part seven. So just stay, stay clicked for that. And it will, it will be. I'll be doing the video in one week's time. Hopefully, if there's no distractions, if I if you see it's gone past a week or two weeks, or or two weeks, you know there's there's something happening for me. So that will mean that I can't actually up upload it or record it because it, it will be most likely it will be to do with the moving. So yeah, that's that's really all I have to say in this video. So that's it. God bless. Take care. Bye for now. And let me just pray before I go. So, um, Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy that you, that you put upon us for past, present, and future. Pray you're able to help us, Father, in times of need. Strengthen us, Father, for whoever's listening or watching, that you're able to strengthen them if if they have mental illness. Pray for, pray for healing and restoration in Jesus' name, Father. Pray you grow and develop them, Father, in, in helping them in this in this trial in this frustration of life and their front and the and help them oh lord with the frustration of their conditions help them father to be able to be able to be strengthened by their by their waiting help them to renew their strength each and every day each and every second father pray your grace and mercy be upon them father if they have ever made a mistake in it the, whilst they're on whilst they're on medication pray you able to give them this the the strength to 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 forgive themselves and forgive others if they've made a mistake whilst they're on medication, whilst they're on under 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 the under the social services. Pray you are able to father, give them the strength to carry on. Pray you're able to give them the strength to move along, move along in in a in a way that 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 that, that gives them strength. For by a word, it, for by a Bible, for for it says in your word, O oh God, in the Bible, it says. The body is weak, but the spirit is willing, or something to to that sense, to to that word. Um, I, I pray you able to give them, give them, give give these, give the individual, give give the viewers that's that's listening, oh God, give them the strength to be able to to be able to give them strength, oh God, in the spirit to be able to carry on and and and, and move up, move on, and 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 be 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 happy with themselves whilst they're on in this frustration of life pray help them to be pray help them oh god to be still whilst the mountain is 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 moving towards them or the seas roaring uh, against them or towards them ready to swallow them up oh god i pray that they're able to rise above it rise above the, the mountain rise above the sea level oh god and by your strength and by your by your spirit, O oh God, strengthen them and save them, O oh God. In a plea the blood of Jesus Christ in these things. I pray these things all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Take care. Bye for now.